good while before we uh, come back here. But there we go. So our autopilot is letting us have a tea break. Absolutely. Way over there in the distance is Liverpool. Well, salty lass, how are you doing? Hopefully I've got a massive big smile on my face. Because we're out of Liverpool at last. I tell you, it was one thing after another. I mean, say so today, uh, we had friends over for a cup of tea, had a slice of cake, all that sort of stuff. And it was lovely. It was lovely because at the end of the day, you've always got to make time for friends. And, you know, we're tr expanding our friends because through our YouTube. <laughs> but we are out and it's brilliant. And yeah, we've got a reef in the Jenny and two, and a re two reefs in the main. Yeah. But I'm sailing! Yeah! Oh days! Well the uh, sun is starting to go down and I'm definitely ready for my night sail. I'm toasty, toasty! Very, very, very toasty! I'm very toasty! <laughs> oh golly! <laughs> You look more like you're gonna go for your first kip. Oh, well done, actually. Oh, dears. I usually like to be well um, organised and cooking under passage, but this time I'm not organised at all. So I'm trying to cook some toast, which is classic, especially when I'm a bit healed. <laughs> One of the silly little things we added to Salty Lass was an inclinometer. And as you can see, we're toodling along between 10 and 12 degrees, or maybe 15. <laughs> Not too sure what's going on down there. There's a lot of noises, laughter, swearing, and a few other bits and bobs going on. It sounds like there's chaos in the kitchen. There's some chaos in the kitchen. Only <laughs> asked you to make a cup of tea. managed to get the sails completely up so they're all the way up to the top so we've got full sail out no more reefing so not bad for your first time out after how many months? Oh, six months. After six months so we've been in harbour for six months so this is the first sail of the season and we've got our sails all the way up, so I'm happy with that. Oh, well, it takes a while to get settled in um, to sailing because it's been uh, so long since we've been out at sea. Um, also, you, you get a little bit apprehensive because we've done so many things to the boat. We've uh, changed the standing rigging, um, we've um, so, you know, removed lots of wiring <laughs> to try and make it easier on the wiring systems. Um, so we've done that. Um, we've touched pretty much every part of the boat, uh, even through holes and things like that. And you just have this little nag. Is there something that you haven't done? Have you not got something right? And it's hard to sort of like 
enjoy the sale because you've just sort of like, have I done everything? I'm pretty sure I have done everything because she's sailing beautifully, but you know, there's still that little worry. Well, we're only having a coffee break here at Peel. No, so, not. Beep! But we're only having a coffee break here at Port St Mary because the ideal time to go through the Calf of Sound, Calf of Man, is in half an hour's time. So we're going to have just enough time to have a coffee and then we're off to Peel. <laughs> oh, dears. We've got, we've got three places in our plan mapped as to where we're going to go. Port St Mary, Ramsey or Douglas and by the end of the uh, passage we'll be in Peel. Hmm, I think we uh, need to have a bit more variance on where we're supposed to go. On the other hand, I look at it this way. Um, we're adapting to circumstances. Yeah. There's no wind today and with no wind the calf sound becomes very doable. Very doable. So. Or so they tell us. Yeah, well, uh, they've, they say it's very doable, so let's go do it. Oh, golly, I'm going to be doing the Calf of Sound next. A little bit of waterway with an absolutely horrendous reputation, but it's a challenge and I've taken it up. And it's a nice day as well, and it has a reputation as being a horrible bit of water, but it also has a reputation for having basking sharks, dolphins and whales around it, so we'll keep our eyes open for those too. Right, here is Calf Sound, as you can see, except it's not. This is Calf Sound. We nearly went down the wrong piece of uh, sea. So we're approaching the beacon and we go between it and the island and we should be good to go. This appears, this appears to be where the local spectators come to watch people get into trouble coming through the calf. This is it. This is what the fuss is about. This tiny little bit of sea between here and that beacon over there. And if you pick your times right, and get the wind and weather right, it doesn't seem to be too bad. And so, we've just transited the Calf of Man. Thank you, pilot. There's the beacon. There's the tail end of Calf of Man. There, you can see. And we are going... It's just perfect here in Peel. We've got, it just feels such a, as if you're going back in time. And to add things, we've got Patsy Coyne playing on the radio, because uh, that's what the guy who's working uh, likes to hear. And personally, I think it's just perfect for Peel. Well, we're going to be going off uh, to Northern Ireland this afternoon, but before we do, uh, there's always a few jobs to do. Uh, one of them is to water the real tank, because might as well, when you're in a, a marina, then it's always wise to add water to your tanks, keeps the boat balanced. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to swab the deck, because somebody, remain nameless, has put threw the coffee over the side and it stained the deck. Won't be doing that again. Well it's goodbye Peel. As always we enjoyed our time in Peel. Great place. We absolutely love it. As you can also see it is completely and utterly flat. There's no wind. That's it.
a different one. That's much different. That's a totally different distance. Big. 